Hi. Today, we will see basic English sentences with a story. You will learn more English words step by step with easy English Hebraeo. Chapter 1 A Masked Man's Secret. Once upon a time, there was a large opera house in a big city. The opera house was full of music, singing, and people every night. Inside the opera house, there was a secret that no one knew. A man lived there, hidden behind walls and shadows. This man had a face he never showed to anyone, he always wore a mask to cover his face. People in the opera house talked about him, but no one knew the truth. They called him the Phantom, but he was always alone. The Phantom loved music, and he listened to every song from his hidden place. He knew every part of the opera house, from the high ceiling to the dark basement. He lived there for many years without anyone seeing him. The music was his only friend. One day, a young woman named Christine started to sing at the opera house. She had a beautiful voice, and everyone loved her singing. The phantom heard her voice, and he felt something change inside his heart. He wanted to hear her sing forever. The phantom watched Christine from his secret hiding place, never showing his face. He listened to her practice every day, and he began to help her in secret. Christine did not know who was helping her, but she felt someone watching her. As Christine became more famous, the Phantom felt both happy and sad. He was glad people loved her voice, but he wished she could know him. The phantom knew his face was a problem, and he kept his mask on all the time. One night, Christine sang in a big opera show, and the crowd clapped loudly for her. The phantom watched from the shadows, his heart full of mixed feelings. He wanted to be near her, but he knew he could never show his real face. After the show, Christine went to her dressing room, and she found a letter on the table. The letter was from the Phantom, but it did not say his name. It only said that he loved her singing and would always be near her. Christine was surprised by the letter, but she felt curious. She wondered who the mysterious person was who wrote to her. She looked around the room, but she could not see anyone. The room was quiet, and the letter was the only clue. Days passed, and Christine continued to sing, and the phantom continued to watch. He became more and more interested in her, and he wanted to speak to her. But every time he thought about it, he remembered his face and felt scared. The phantom decided he would speak to Christine, but only from behind a wall. He knew she would be frightened if she saw him. 
he waited for the right time. And one night he spoke to her while she was alone. Christine, the phantom said softly, I am your friend. I love your voice and I want to help you. Christine looked around, but could not see anyone. She listened carefully to the voice, wondering who it was. Who are you? Christine asked, her voice soft and gentle. Why do you hide from me? The phantom did not answer right away. He was afraid to tell her the truth. He wanted her to like him without seeing his face. I am your friend in the shadows, the phantom said finally. I want to make you a great singer. Trust me. Christine was unsure, but something in the voice felt kind. She decided to trust the voice, even though she did not know the person behind it. From that night, the phantom helped Christine with her singing in secret. He gave her advice, and her voice became stronger and more beautiful. Christine felt thankful, but she still wanted to know who her secret helper was. One day, Christine followed the voice down to a hidden part of the opera house. She walked through long, dark hallways looking for the person behind the voice. Her heart was beating fast, but she felt brave. She wanted to see the truth. The phantom watched her from a distance as she walked closer to his hidden room. He knew she was coming, and he felt both excited and afraid. He had never shown his face to anyone before, and he was not sure what would happen next. Christine finally reached a large door, and she opened it slowly. Inside, she saw a man wearing a mask sitting at a piano. The man looked up at her, and their eyes met for the first time. Christine realized this was the person who had been helping her. You are the voice, Christine said softly, and you are wearing a mask. The phantom stood up slowly, feeling nervous. He wanted to explain, but he was afraid she would run away if she saw his face. Yes, the phantom said. I am the voice that has helped you. But I wear this mask for a reason. Christine did not move, but she felt curious. She wanted to know why the phantom wore a mask and what he was hiding. The phantom took a deep breath and spoke again. I wear this mask because my face is not like other faces. It is different, and I do not want you to be scared. Christine listened carefully, but she still wanted to understand more. Let me see your face, Christine asked gently. I want to know the person behind the voice. 
The phantom hesitated, but he knew he could not hide forever. He slowly took off his mask, revealing his face to Christine. Christine looked at the phantom's face, and for a moment she did not know what to say. His face was different, just like he had said, but she did not run away. She felt sad for him, but she also saw the kindness in his eyes. You are different, Christine said softly, but you are still a person. Thank you for helping me. The phantom felt a mix of emotions. He had never shown his face to anyone before, and he was surprised that Christine did not leave. From that moment, Christine and the Phantom shared a special bond. She continued to sing, and he continued to help her in secret. The opera house was still full of music, and the Phantom's heart was full of hope. But the Phantom knew that not everyone would accept him the way Christine did. He had lived in the shadows for so long, and he was still afraid of what others would think. His secret life continued, but now he had someone who understood him. As time passed, Christine's singing became more famous, and more people came to hear her. The Phantom watched her from his hidden place, proud of her success. He knew his secret would always be with him, but Christine had given him something new, hope. And so, the phantom story continued in the opera house where music filled the air and secrets filled the shadows.